my two puppies, those two, they're two uh, boys. And, uh, you know, if any of you have two boys, this is what they look like when they are playing outdoors, okay? Okay, do they look like they're having fun? Okay. If any of you have two, two young boys, do you recognize that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, those two dogs are now close to 100 pounds, okay? And so when they play, they can roughhouse a lot, okay? But one of the things that, that I find is that do we want them to do that in the house? Why? They could break something, yeah, if we, we don't want to, you know, what else w would they do? Scratch the floors, yeah, yeah. So what we try to do to get them to do in the house is we're trying to teach them the next slide here. We're trying to get them to do this in the house, right? Okay, because there's a difference between playing outside and playing in the house, right? Okay, and if, let's say, if you went, if you went visiting to someone's house, do you, do you go into someone's house and jump on their couch and go through all of their cupboards and, you know, run through the house screaming and yelling? Okay, I, you may be tempted to do that, right? You, you'd like to do that. But what would your parents say? No, they'd say, you, calm down, settle down. And so, so I have to tell my dog sometimes, I don't know, it's scary, isn't it? Uh, what happens is I have to tell and teach my dogs, I have to teach my dogs that, um, that they have to change their behavior once they get in the house, right? Because we don't want to break anything. And you know, well, there's something called re yes. How do your parents? That's true. My dogs understand me. They've under yes, they do. When I say settle down, they know what I mean settle down. Okay, and the reason why they know that is because they they know some consequences that might happen if they if they don't. Your parents do that, don't you? I mean, they tell you, yeah, like, yeah. Well, and why are they doing that? No. Right. And they're trying to teach you to be respectful. I'm trying to teach my dogs to be respectful. One of the things that we're having a hard time with, and, and my wife can vouch for this, is that when we go and take them for a walk, they're so friendly that they want to jump on everybody and lick them to death. Okay? But is that appropriate to go up to strangers and knock them down and lick them on? No. So we're trying to teach them to be respectful of other people's space. Right? One of the things I want you to know is, is that this church is God's house. Right? And so what we want to do is to come into God's house and be respectful like you would go anywhere else. So when we're out on the playground, we act one way. And when we're in the, in the house of God, we, we, we do another way. And what does that show God? That we respect him and, and know who he is, right? That's the important thing. And so, but it's a challenge. That's why we are, sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we run through the church and then we sometimes are some, do th something to, because we forget sometimes. And so it's up to the pastor sometimes to remind us. It's up to our parents sometimes to remind us how we're to behave. My dogs, they make mistakes all the time. In fact, if you'd see, that's one of the reasons I didn't bring them today is because what would happen is, is they would jump all over you and lick you and you would probably love it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, but some people wouldn't. You'd love your dog kissing you, yeah? Yeah, 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 slobbery kisses, right? Oh, no, oh, no. So, does that make sense? 
So when your parents, they love you, and so they're just trying to tell you and teach you what it means to be respectful of other people's property, of other, th other things, so we don't, so that we can learn how to, to get along with other people, right? Okay? Can we do that? Listen to our parents because they love us, and they want us to grow up to be respectful people, Okay? All right, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your love, and I thank you for these young people. They are amazing. And Lord, we just pray that you will help us to learn to be respectful for, to others and to you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day, guys.